The speed of a transverse wave passing through a string of length 50 cm and mass 10 g is 60 m per second. The area of cross section of the wire is 2 mm per square and its young modulus is thus. The extension of the wire over its natural length due to tension will be. Okay, so we have to find delta L. So first we have to find out T that is tension. So how we find the tension? So velocity is going to be equal to root over T by mu where mu is mass per unit length. So the velocity is 60 meter per second which is going to be equal to root over T which is not given divided by mu mu is mass per unit length. So what is the mass? 10 grams. 10 so we write 10 into 10 to the power minus 3 kg per unit length that is 50 centimeter which is 0 0.5 meters okay so therefore now what it becomes is t becomes 60 into 60 meter square per second square into 10 into 10 to the power minus 3 kg divided by 0 0.5 meters which is equal to so this is gone this is gone uh, this here becomes again 10 so 1 2 and 3 10 to the power minus 3 is gone now 5 this becomes you know goes by 12 so 12 into 6 is 72 so 72 newtons is the tension now uh, then for the second part y is equal to stress divided by strain so therefore uh, we can write y is equal to f by a divided by delta l by l so therefore delta l becomes f l by a into y so therefore delta l becomes what is this the force 72 newtons into length passing the string length of 0. Point, uh, it's 50 centimeters so therefore 0. 0.5 meter divided by area of cross section is 2 millimeters so 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 meters square into Young's modulus which is 1.2 into 10 to the power 11 Newton per meter square so if you see here Newton and Newton is gone okay it is per meter square so me this is gone with this so therefore what we have left is so it goes like this it's 6 and this becomes 3 so this is uh, 15 into 10 to the power minus 5 meters. So the further the value of x which is already given here is 50. Okay. Thank you. So we actually we solved in two parts. For delta L we require this equation. Okay. But we don't know f here so f we have to calculate by this equation which talks about wave velocity.